Hey there you great people, so as you can probably see I'm out on the motorbike and I'm going to show you this church here which is Parish Church of St Stephen the Martyr uh, while I just come in the gate here, it's a very large church, a clock while I come in the gate here I'm going to have some uh, information pop up on the screen for you so I'll have that pop up now and we'll remember pause it if you want to so you can just read the information and press play again as you can see it's quite a large church i think it's from 1288 but the information on the screen will show you that i've literally been out on the motorbike and thought i might as well stop and do a video uh while i'm out here um so i've not had a chance to do my research properly i did do some research in this place a while back uh but i forgot <laughs> it was like way before christmas let's look at some of the very old um, gravestones in the wall there. This one is 1737, pretty sure you can make that out. Died aged 53, that's not real. Wow. Well, that was a he. Did it say who it was? He lies the bodies of William Hambly and can't see what that says. Dinner something? His wife? The one up there is 1732. We can read that properly. Here by the lay of the mortal part of Francis, daughter of William and Dina Hamley. All the same family as what's buried below. He was buried 23rd of October, 1732. Wow. Right, let's go have a look a bit more. I know there's some graves here. What are these? Uh, date. Age 50, this person. 1848, that one. Look at the size of this tree as well, it's monstrous. I've never actually been in this church by the way, but look at this tree, this is aged, isn't it? Hell, it's absolutely massive. Wow, hope you're enjoying this anyway. I know it's been a little bit of a while since uh, I've been and done one of these out and about videos, because uh, the weather has been dreadful and it has been raining actually while I've been out on the bike today, so um, uh, like in bits and pieces on and off, nothing too major, just little, little bits and pieces. Um, it's a nice little peaceful graveyard, isn't it? If you can see in the distance, there's some pretty amazing uh, views, you know, miles away. Um, we've got some more graves here. Let's fill it. Gendel, the priest. He did well back then. He lived to what, 84? It was quite good going. Look at the size of this door, hell. Look at me compared to the door. <laughs> that is mad. Who are enjoying this? And I know these church ones aren't for everyone. Um, I, mean, I have said this in the past. I am by no means uh, trying to be religious or pretending to be because in all honesty, I'm, I'm not really, you know. I'm not one way or the other, to be honest. Um, you know, I do love the history of these churches. And it looks here like maybe a door has been uh, sort of bricked over at some point. That's a beautiful um, like angel type stone inset there, hand carved. You see the stained glass windows as well. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? There's some more graves here. That's extremely clean to say it's from 1866. Elizabeth Day, I think it is. Wow. Oh, 21 years old. Oh, hell. This graveyard, I did come to this graveyard last year with a certain someone that I used to be with and I can't remember it being this big, to be honest. And we did that time go all the way down to the bottom of that part and we did most of this as well. It's quite impressive. And this actually is only the second time in my whole life I've actually uh, been in here. It's quite an impressive building though, isn't it? Some many different layers all to attached together. Little door down the bottom there. And a very, very, very large and well uh, preserved actually for its age. Uh, bell tower is really impressive. That's a good thing with England. Um, I'm not saying there's no uh, history in America, because there is of course, but <coughs> the history in this country, which I love, you know, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. Um, 
and pretty mighty impressive some of it you know even simple things like these churches you know or that tree that might not be impressive to some people but that tree there, that's probably sat on that same spot for probably about 300 years you know quite an old oak tree it's pretty damn big if you look I want to be at the top of that <coughs> so we're back to the front maybe one time I'll come back again and do a full full tour of the whole graveyard but I mean graves are grave right some are fancier than others depending on how rich they were um, so yeah let me know in the comments if you'd like that and maybe even if I can get hold of the local vicar I'll look it up on the internet I'm pretty sure I know it is for this church St Stephen's see if we can actually do a tour of this church but before I do a tour of this church I obviously want to do a full tour of St Thomas uh, Church where I live. Um, obviously I brought the video, several videos in the churchyard, uh, day and night. And obviously I got the keys to the porch, which I did a video of, which you've seen. And obviously the priory down there, which is all part of the same grounds. So we'll do a tour of that one first, and then try and get the keys for this one here. I hope you've all had a great day anyway, and a great Sunday. Um, my cooking video will be coming up later on. The Italian themed cooking video, so watch out for that. And also, please do go and check out my other great content and playlist on this Paul Big Austin 85. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you all so much.